What's going on guys, that here Fliptronics. I'm gonna be showing you how to use the Samsung Galaxy S20 crypto wallet. Okay, so you may or may not be aware that this phone comes with a built-in crypto wallet. They actually started this on the S10, but I really never bothered with it back then. Anyways, I'm gonna show you how to use it, get started with it. I'm also gonna give you a really good alternative, and if you guys could smash a like button as you're watching this, I would definitely appreciate it. Now, what you wanna do first is go into your settings. And from in your settings, you're going to want to scroll down to the biometrics and security option. Okay, so from in here, you want to scroll down a little bit more and you're going to see an option that says Samsung blockchain key store. Okay, so from in here, you just want to click agree and then click next and then it's going to have a couple different options. So this is where you want to be in order to get, you know, started. So you can actually import an existing wallet. I've never tried that before or you can just create a new wallet. I'm going to just do create new so I can kind of show you how, uh, you know, this whole thing works. So you gotta put in some kind of pin, so let me think about what I wanna do here. Okay, cool. All right, so after you enter the pin, this is what it's gonna ask you to do. It's gonna say that uh, Samsung Blockchain Keystore will create a 12 word recovery phrase. So from this point on, you're gonna need to actually write some of these different things down for the recovery phrase. Then after that, you'll have created a new wallet on here. Now, I would say the biggest drawbacks to using this is that it's so like plain and basic. Um, you know, I've been trading cryptocurrency for like the last five-ish years. If you really wanna like start getting into crypto, I wouldn't even bother with this. I mean, it's it's a cool, you know, idea for them to put that on, you know, these Samsung phones, the newer ones. But, you know, if you really wanna do the crypto thing, my recommendation would be to use an app like Coinbase. Now, Coinbase, is where it's at you know it's got a very nice user-friendly interface on android plus ios um you can see right now i've got about ten thousand dollars worth of crypto almost eleven thousand right now um i've been using coinbase for a long time so you know i actually got started on here and uh currently you know it's used by over 30 million people they insure each user up to like 250k um, you know, they've done billions in transactions and they have over 20 different crypto coins that you can trade on here. But, you know, this is where it's at for me because the cool thing about Coinbase is it works as both a wallet. So you get the wallet feature where you can hold coins, but you can also trade them on here. So if you want to like buy and sell them, it's a wallet plus a trading platform. But, you know, the user interface is really nice on here. You can, uh, you know, check out different charts. Um, you can pull up different prices, uh, and then of course they've got volume, market cap, news for each coin, and uh, yeah, so I mean, if you guys want to actually get started with crypto, I would say the Samsung, you know, the fact that they have a, a built-in wallet, it's cool, it's just like, there's just not a lot there with it right now, but, you know, maybe in the future they do some updates, make it a little bit better, but my recommendation would be to kind of stay away from it, check out Coinbase. So I'll have some links in the description and comments for Coinbase as well as some resource links if you want to learn more about using, um, you know, that app. And uh, yeah, so anyways, if you guys could also smash a like button if you have any questions or comments, feel free to message me below. Thanks for watching it and we'll see you in the next one.